Hey, we need to talk. This isn't working anymore. And it's not us, it's you. We just want different things. Our idea of a good time is relaxing on the beach. Hitting up the spa. Or checking out a new restaurant. You just want to get drunk in public and ignore laws. Do you even remember what happened last March? That was an official ad from the city of Miami Beach. They are announcing that they're officially breaking up with spring break and the baggage that comes along with it. I do need to offer a point of clarification or correction for the ad that you just watched because they kind of made it seem like people from Miami hanging out in Miami Beach are like super chill like Californians are. They're not super chill <laughs> in Miami Beach, okay? Mm -hmm. They also like to get drunk in public and sometimes skirt uh -huh. <laughs> regulations and laws. But you know what, they're having fun and when it's done by a small group of people, it's not disastrous. When it's mm -hmm. done by a ton of spring breakers, it kind of is disastrous. Yeah. And I'll tell you how. For instance, in 2021, Miami Beach made more than 1,000 arrests amongst spring breakers, leading them to issue an emergency curfew. In 2022, two shootings injured five people, leading to another curfew. And then last year, the Miami Beach Police Department said it conducted 488 arrests, impounded 105 firearms, and issued 7,190 traffic citations between February 27th and March 27th. I mean, that does seem like a decent source of revenue. I was immediately <laughs> thinking of that exact same thing. But who knows how many of those people actually pay the citation. That's and true. I'm sure there are a lot of costs associated with the damage done during spring break. Sure, yeah. yeah. yeah and they have to pay a lot of people <laughs> overtime to cover all that. Yeah, I, I, I gotta keep it real. I'm at the point in my life where I have not thought about spring break for 20 years or whatever. But yeah, when you think about it, like, it gives this region, the cities, obviously Miami is one of several cities that are well known for that. Mm -hmm. You know, a reputation, maybe it leads to some tourism, but that doesn't mean that it's positive. And, and cities change over time. Maybe they want to attract more families or young professionals who aren't there to just break stuff. So I sort of get it. Um, it's I gonna be know. difficult, it requires a lot of different regulations, and it seems like they're being thoughtful, dr draconic, a little draconian in, in how they're doing it. but. If um, there's anything that I could do to prevent LA, a densely populated city, from having less people, I want to do it. Uh huh. So I totally get Miami Beach for wanting to do this. Like, yeah, I do wonder. Look, there will certainly be consequences. I mean, that's a lot of people coming in. I'm sure that is an influx of money to yeah. restaurants, hotels, liquor stores, probably. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. But you know, the, I've seen videos of those chaotic scenes, and so again, I don't begrudge them for, you know, wanting to preemptively shut down the notion that this is going to happen again this year. But we'll, yeah. it remains to be seen. We'll see how this all plays out. Um, now, Miami Beach is finally putting their foot down. I want to give you um, some more video to prove that point. This isn't safe, so we're done. And just so you know, we're serious. This March, you can expect things like curfews, bag checks, and restricted beach access, DUI checkpoints, $100 parking, and strong police enforcement for drug possession and violence. Whatever it takes, because it's time to move on. Maybe we can talk when you're done with your spring break phase, but until then. $100 parking would definitely deter me, like 100%. Oh, yeah. $100 parking, I'm not gonna go. Well, it's it did sound really bad, but then I thought like, a lot of LA parking is like 60 bucks. I guess it's That's not that crazy by comparison. I will park in the next city and walk mm -hmm. to, I, I think it is egregious to charge that much for parking. Oh, I hate it, but like you're trying to get to your event, all the lots are 50 oh, to 60 dollars. It does suck, yeah. Um, I get it, uh, it'll be really interesting to see. I assume these regulations have rolled out and they're active right now because we're in that period, the February 27th to March 27th. It'll be really interesting to see how successful they are. I imagine limiting beach access and that sort of thing is gonna really cut down on it. The idea that the parking's expensive and you might have to walk dozens of blocks. But theoretically, if people have already booked the trip, there might still be some lingering attempts to make it happen. Well, if you wanna put your finger on the pulse, apparently you just go, go on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Because someone had posted a TikTok video basically warning people not to go to Miami for spring break. But not everyone was 
dissuaded from a Miami Beach spring break. For instance, one of the commenters under the Miami Beach breakup video said that spring break is going nowhere. There will be no breakups at all. And these measures will not stand. Of all the things to have such a strong- you Have you ever been young, John? Like. Yeah, but like, I, it's going nowhere forever. Like, you're gonna age out of it in three years. Like, yeah, what, no, no, are you they, really gonna continue on. this crusade? They are gonna age out of it in three years. So, savor every freaking okay. second of it, okay? Because one day, you're gonna be an old, grumpy hag like I am, <laughs> and you're not gonna wanna go to spring mm -hmm. break, and you're not gonna wanna go out and party, and you're not gonna wanna go to that too noisy bar. Why are bars so noisy? I don't know. Okay. It's, it's too much and it needs to stop, yes. okay? okay? I'm gonna open a silent, depressing bar, and I want everyone to come. Not, Dude, not everyone, I want I, a few people to come. I love me a silent, low lit bar, uh -huh. I, lo I love it. I it live does sound for good. It. So you sort of I, I, look. I was already going to ask this question, but now I have to. Uh -huh. So you now are an old hag by your yep. own words, yep. and you would never go to spring break. Nope. But did you? Did you do anything um, like that? Mm, well, okay. So I, I had very, very strict parents, That's and true. they did not allow me to go away for school for college. Um, but my best friend went to UC Santa Barbara, which is a notorious party school. And while I am sad to report that I never had a spring break experience like the one that kids have these days in um, Miami Beach, I had a party or two. Uh, I, you know, was, I enjoyed myself at Santa Barbara. Was it one or two? <laughs> no, that, look, that's good. Um, yeah. There, there are still gonna be other places you can go to. It's possible yeah. that other cities desperate to get an influx of money might be like, hey, Miami shut it down, come here instead. Maybe even some other Florida cities. I used to go to raves, that was my thing. Okay. Yeah, no, which I, I miss, but I, I I'm terrified to go to one now and get recognized while mm -hmm. I'm indulging in things that I shouldn't be indulging in. Give it a try. <laughs> uh, one last last gasp of, I don't uh -huh. know, youthfulness. Um, yeah, look. I, I get that there's an appeal. There's other places you can go to. I think you're gonna be okay. You can go to Daytona or something. Miami's not the only beach. I've never been to Daytona. Is it nice? I, I I've been to Miami and Pompano and only a couple places. I have never gone to like a spring break in Florida. Florida is such a beautiful state. Like mm -hmm. the beach. Oh God, the beaches in Florida. California is beautiful, but. The water's too cold. Like, no, who's gonna go cold. in that water? People do go in the water, but they're crazy. Yeah, it's like, too, there's sharks in there. They gotta put the wetsuit on to stay warm. The wetsuit is all cumbersome it is, and it's too, too tight. You know, yeah. they, they can see every like curvature of your body on the beach. Like, it's yeah, I mean, better now. I don't. Be a decent human being and wear a string bikini instead. Okay, cover up. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay. Can I just wrote briefly because you mentioned you know the people in Miami. I don't. I honestly I don't know many people from Miami. And obviously yeah. Miami is different than the rest of Florida. I know Jason Carter, who's great. Mm -hmm. And then there was one. I I took an Uber in California in L.A. Mm -hmm. And the driver was from Miami. And I know that because he told me he had to move from Miami to do Uber in L.A. because they're way too harsh in Miami. Okay. Like if you drink at all, they don't want you to do Uber. And he's driving me at that point. I'm thinking, yeah, I, I think maybe they're they have the right of it over there. And why doesn't LA care about drunk Uber drivers? Anyway, that was yeah. not reassuring. Yeah, and that was my spring break experience. You know what? That was predictable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm surprised you didn't have like a board game tournament for your spring break. I would prefer a board game tournament. No, I know. You can have a lot of fun, okay? And sometimes there's wine. <laughs> okay, consider it. Doesn't get too oh loud. God. Some games, games of risk, a little louder, you know?